Another frightful night in Minecraft, and have I made a very interesting discovery? I will say yes. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe, enable post notifications, and welcome to a brand new Minecraft video as the sun rises, which we're probably going to set it back to nighttime because we got to keep the eerie vibes of this video correct. Go ahead and go time set night. So it sets it exactly at the dawn. You know, the, the night is coming upon us. Boom. <laughs> Look, the moon's there already. That's, that's kind of awkward. Anyways, welcome guys. If you're new to the channel, all I can say is join us. Come on. I, I give my head out to you and I promise to only deliver you some amazing top-notch content. Guys, I upload a lot and I upload daily, so you're going to have tons of content uh, of all variety. Truth, truthfully, it's, it's true. So guys, I have been investigating Disc 11 in Minecraft for a long time. Now, I made a few videos, some creepy videos, shall I say at that, playing Disc 11 backwards and so many others, guys. It went absolutely viral. You guys loved it. You guys were trying to investigate it with me. We were getting down to the bottom of this mystery and well Timo Winchy has been growing by the daily and I can't thank you all enough for that but I had to return back to disc 11 I had to give my two cents and I had to see what this mystery was all about a little bit more in depth so ladies and gentlemen strap in grab whatever you may need popcorn chicken soda it does not matter but relax and I hope you enjoy this video but today we are here <clears throat> finally figuring out what disc 11 is all about Many have tried for the centuries to fully discover the mystery behind Disc 11. Okay, guys, I'm not going to try to make this anything more anticipated and, like, you know, better than it is. It's just uh, what it is, guys. Disc 11 is a music disc that we have constantly had a lot of mystery around that we have been trying to figure out forever now. The creepypastas rise up, and while creepypastas always give us weird vibes in Minecraft and make us question a lot, even from the core origination of Hero Brian. But what if I told you Disc 11 was in the game prior to Hero Brian? Yeah, that's where it gets weird because we always want to distinguish all the sounds related to Disc 11 is in some way related towards Hero Brian himself. But what if I told you what we hear on this list, what it appears to be Hero Brian and an Enderman? At times, we think that we hear an Enderman on this disc, right? And if you have any Enderman around in your world, they will sometimes start acting very different when you play this disc. So a lot of us thought there was something to do with an Enderman. But what if I also tell you? that this disc was introduced before Endermen were even in the game. So how could the sounds of Endermen be implemented in this disc before Endermen even existed in Minecraft? That sparks a lot of weird questions as well. So let's kind of take it back and ask what is going on in Disc 11 as a whole? Like what goes on guys? This is weird. A mysterious strange disc that is broken, eerie, creepy. The atmosphere that it displays upon the player is so abstract like we've never experienced anything like this in minecraft and the crazy thing is disc 11 has been in minecraft for years dating all the way back to the earliest versions of minecraft disc 11 has been here until this day no one has actually figured out what disc 11 is now i'm pretty sure i figured out a good explanation and we have figured something out now with all the sounds throughout minecraft and the music disc well mojang like to hide a lot of secret stuff so this one definitely is secretive and we will be going into that so guys Guys, Disc 11 is creepy, and let's just let it play a little bit just to display to you how creepy this truly is. As you can tell, my world is very desolate right now. It's very odd, actually. There's just one chicken. I'd be terrified if that chicken just died, to be honest. Anyways, let's listen in. See, we hear some coughing here, right? It's almost like this isn't of Minecraft. It's outside of Minecraft. It was just something like... We hear some flipping of the pages. All right, that's enough. You guys have heard Disc 11. You know, we're not going to go through that whole shindig and just go listen to the full disc. I'd take minutes of this video, and I'm not trying to stretch the video on that long. I mean, <laughs> please. Anyways, so basically in the disc itself, you can hear what appears of a man walking, flipping pages in a compass perhaps, which sounds like a lighter. Uh, but then, you know, you can hear hurried footsteps, a dog or something to be exact. Maybe the scratching of the disc as it cannot actually make out what it is it wants to relay to us. What is that jumping over there? I don't know. Uh, anyways, the disc is broken, right? So, basically, this information that I'm about to give you guys may be factual. It may not be. It may, uh, like, but, guys, from what I have 
depicted and pinpointed down. This seems like something that is going to be, if there, if if you would display or say this is a theory, this is one of the best theories around. Like I said, guys, this takes it back all the way to uh, the earliest days of Minecraft. So remember, we didn't have Enderman, we didn't have anything. And it, it's almost like C4, like uh, 18, which are the creators of these tracks. It's almost like they just took something and compiled a bunch of gibberish together, perhaps of audio clips that they had just to create something kind of creepy to constantly make people you know curious and add that curious edge to it and i honestly don't think disc 11 might not be as creepy as we ever thought it was guys turns out i mean minecraft is a fun game right maybe disc 11 wasn't as creepy as we thought it was actually and it was just a damaged disc and that's really it well let's go ahead and dive into some of these images now guys going back to an individual known bsi draw which this is way back he actually in his fl studio software which is you know for music production things along that he he analyzed the music disc known as disc 11 and this is what he saw now if you see there can be some outlines of what appears to be some numbers so near the end of the song where things get very weird there's one two four one eight now this is the signature of c418 the creator of the minecraft sounds and music they're the ones that do all the minecraft gibberish right so you know they like to add little secrets and stuff and we know this right so this is very interesting guys so yeah, uh, and you may be like, what about, what about, okay, 418 is, uh, okay, C418, but the, it makes out 12418, so what's the 1-2? One 1-2 two? One two is C in like the, uh, like, I, I think it's like hexa, hexadecimals of some sort in a table of display of that, so, yeah, so it, it definitely translates to C418, so they deliberately added an Easter egg within disc 11 of just saying their, their creator's name, C4, uh, 18 which is really weird that, that, that's really weird that they would do that now we can also depict what appears to be um, some distinguishable figures a figure of some sort now guys if you look this could be a creeper head it could be Steve Ed maybe it actually is hero Brian I don't know you guys gotta let me know what you think about these images like uh, as one you will see what it appears to be depicted on hero brands could could this mean that c418 are the creators of hero brand 2 maybe this is hero brand maybe it's just creeper maybe it's just Steve I don't know that's why we're still depicting this guys but we have figured out a huge clue in the disc 11 mystery so this is major breakthrough guys so and this information has actually been on the web for a while but I've not seen no one talk about it so I was like I gotta cover this I gotta make a video on this and talk about this guys so we're still in the dark to some degree but the mystery is unfolding and we figured out a huge part of this mystery guys you gotta let me know what you think in the comment section below what are your thoughts and theories about disc 11 do you still think it's oriented towards hero brian do you think it does have uh c418 or just trolling us in a sense and like it actually isn't as complex as we thought it once was well we do not know and mojang is still keeping super quiet about this mystery guys so it definitely sparks a lot of curiosity it sparks a lot of mystery but guys i think we're one step closer to fully figuring this out and it really it just looks like an easter egg and i've never seen another youtuber figure this out guys so like this is a really big deal this is some validated stuff that we just kind of debunked and got down to the bottom of guys so with that aside be sure to hit that like button subscribe if you're new to the channel guys because on top oh i put the light down in a llama spawn that's really cool but guys on top of doing you know debunking the mysteries and myth of minecraft we always have a fun series where we're kind of like um you know finding like uh, like i got a new series that's kind of ongoing now about boogeyman where we're kind of like running through out and trying to find boogeyman or something. it's just a fun little series guys it's a fun little series it's fiction but it's fun so with that aside guys hopefully you guys enjoy the content on the channel and on Honestly, guys, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe. It's only going to go up from here. And nice, the sun is rising, guys. Let's just watch the sun rise here with the animals. Yes. All right, Llama, that was loud and obnoxious. You need to shut your mouth. Anyways, no, shut up. I told you to shut up, man. Oh, oh gee, you didn't say No, I keep on hearing llamas now. Don't look at you. Look at you. You turned over like he was about to spit at me. I don't just smack. All right, anyways, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you think in the comment section below because your input matters. And, uh, well, guys, I may just let Disc 11 play, like the audio for Disc 11 play at the end of this video, just so you guys can listen to it and also get your own depiction of it and just kind of, like, listen to the disc again more in depth. So, yeah, do that. Listen. Let me know what you think. And, uh, whoa.
That's weird. Why does weird stuff always happen at the end of my videos? Either way, guys, we're going to let Disc 11 play. I'll see you guys in the next video, which is coming up very soon. Refresh this video 5,000 times. Share it with friends, family, everyone. We need to go to the top team. ONG. Take Taking over. Thank you. Have a nice day. 360.